So you talked about learning more about your country, mm. about America, through the eyes of other people. Mm. Can you explain a little bit more on that? So for me, the biggest thing I realized out of the States is one thing that we are taught about and still going on today is like race. And when you get out of the States, you kind of know it already in the States, but it really hits home when you're around people that just don't look like you or have no connection to your culture. We are a lot more alike than we are different, a lot more alike. Yes, you might eat different ways, you might eat different food and you will look physically different, but at the core, we all cry, we all have pain, we all suffer from, from, from something, we've all experienced something bad and good, and we can all relate to those things. For example, if you're a guy, no matter what country you're, you're from, if you see a beautiful girl, all the guys, I don't care what country you're from, mm. <laughs> you know, so that's it. And we can relate on so many things. Mm -hmm. If we see something that we like, if we t uh, taste a food that's delicious, or everybody's eyes light up. Why? Because we're all human. And that is one of the best things about just life itself, realizing how similar you are. Even teaching, kids are the exact same around the world. I don't care where you are from. They're all crazy, goofy, overly honest, nose-picking kids. That's all they are. And curious, that's all they curious, curious yes. you know? And extremely no filter, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's what a kid is. And when you see that, you start to realize, why are we all always fighting each other. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. We are so much similar than different. I don't care what your skin type is. I've been helped by people who are black, white, you know, uh, Japanese, Chinese, Malaysian, so, like so many people. So for me to go out and say, you know, I'm better than her, or he's better than me, no way. I'm sorry, I can't, mm -hmm. I cannot. So yeah, I've realized over the years is that personality, your ability to speak well, your ability to present yourself in a very professional way, and your ability to have a skill set that people can respect and honor and be helped by is what gets people to, to, to trust you. I don't care what you look like. Mm -hmm. And yes, are, is, is there discrimination? Sure. Yes. There's, in every single country, there's, there's someone that does not want to like you for the way that you look. Fine. But I'm sorry, for the most part, it is good. Mm -hmm. It is good. And... That's one thing that I've learned is to not think about life through the lens of race all the time. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think as being black men coming right. from America. That, right. That's, that's something that we're ingrained with. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. And that, that it's for me, I did a year in Japan before I came here. So. And that was a huge like relief. Yes. Right. I right. Um, I still catch myself even here. I still catch sure, myself. Sure. Sure. Like, Oh, I see, I see some, <laughs> some I'm, yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm not going to go down that way. But mm -hmm, right. I think that's just because it's what's left over from the experiences. Yeah, you know what? It's, you know, I, I catch myself, and it's not common anymore, but when something bad happens that's like really, really bad, that's out of my control, and it happens from someone that doesn't look like me, it's just like, it's because I'm black. No, it's not because I'm black. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like. And I always make sure that thought, because it's been ingrained in us for so long, mm -hmm. it can pop up. And I try to make sure that race is not my first lens to look through. Mm. And it's like, okay, what's the full situation? What's the full scope here? What can I do to make the situation better? You know, that's one thing, like making sure that, yes, not everything that happens to you is exactly your fault, but there are so many things that you can control. The way you react, the way you... How, how fast you find a solution, are you gonna blame someone for it or are you gonna try to get help to fix it? Mm -hmm. And when things are put on you, it forces you to look at the situation and try to fix it as soon as possible because it is on you. When it's on someone else, you'll fall back but that can make the situation worse. Mm -hmm. So when you are active looking for a solution for something, then you're much more in control of it mm -hmm. and thus you're much more happy overall. Well, it kind of goes also into the background. You said that you really enjoy teaching. Mm. Uh, these experiences that, and, and uh, encounters that you have right. can actually turn out to be educational and teaching moments mm. to someone who may already have preconceived notions from previous experiences that were bad 
or from what they see in media and like everything. So it's an opportunity for you to change the way someone else is thinking. I agree. Um, and you know, that's what I've experienced and mm -hmm. what I've taken. Um, so yeah. All right, cool. Mm -hmm.